a good morning, a good evening, or good afternoon, folks. Where am I? I'm just back from Great Yarmouth. I'm at Winfields, Feckenham. It's just outside Astral Bank. Uh, it's a really good outdoor store to come and get all your camping and outdoor wear. I've got the boots on, which I bought from here. They're fantastic. I wear them all the time. Well, I've got a bad knee. Since I've been wearing these boots, my knee's improved. I'm not guaranteeing it'll improve yours, but it does make your walking a lot easier. So before I say any more, don't forget to like and subscribe. Why I like coming here, I love the staff. They're really friendly. You get a good deal. Uh, it's, you know, it's a really good shop. So if you're in the area, it's worth checking it out. Now they've got a picnic area out here. And there's lots of public footpath walks as well in the area. Let me spin you around. Uh, yeah, there's the sign there. And uh, this is the shop. Here's the opening hours here. Uh, so you got them. And it's uh, got a large uh, free car park. Now the reason I've come is to look at the tents. So this is where I'm going over to the tent field now. So uh, see you when I get to the tent field. So see you short. Right, just talking to one of the nice ladies here. Uh, she said, out with stuff, going to have a look round. It has been, well, we've had, I was in a Nelson Hotel and I've had uh, Storm Nelson. So uh, they've zipped one or two up because it has been windy. Now I do like this, uh, this is nice, this uh, air brake, £324. Uh, it's also available at a five panel one that's nice uh let's go and have a look see what we got this is a camper and it is never uh, i can't be that must, that must be the awning remember the old tent this is a uh air awning so oh it must what it must be there must be more than one because this is one here let's go through uh let's see if it's what this is a separate one. I thought that was cheap for the old thing. Yeah, this is um, this is a drive away awning here for 500. So uh, yeah, that's great. Um, obviously, I'm not going to be able to go around all of them. This is a Coleman blackout bedroom. Let's go and have a decker. So. Uh, <coughs> No, oh, that was me tripping over. Yeah, so there's the details. It's a Weathermaster 8 for a grand. That's brilliant. Now, I, I find that um, through the, every year I come and look at these tents, each year they seem to do little modifications and make them better. Uh, there's a view from here. That's put an extra little bedroom just here. That's zips each end. You've got a nice little area at the front here. Put your equipment and you get your boots off and everything. I like that. Let me just get swing you one more time around to that. That's my favourite so far. Um, yeah, really nice. The Coleman here. I think we've got two. Let's go and have a look. Now, let's say that's... We've had the storm, so, that, so it shows that they're pretty robust. Now this one, this is a drive away blackout, and it's 300, and I can't believe the price is what I'm seeing, 399. Uh, yeah, very nice. Let's see what we've got over this side. Uh, yeah, this is a Journey Master, another drive away awning. Uh, it's an air awning, 600 quid. Blimey, what's going on? They're giving the stuff away here. That's fantastic. I, I should imagine, I'll swing you around to me a minute. Yeah, hello world. I think the technology and stuff in making these air things, they must have, you know, 
got into it and they've dropped the price because they were really expensive when they first came out. So uh, yeah, it's a blackout bedroom as well, which is nice because sometimes, like me, I like a dark room to sleep. Um, but uh, you know, well, I did fall asleep on the coach today. That's another story. So uh, yeah, uh, now I've come here. No, no one's paying me to come and look round or anything. Uh, I come here because I uh, I do like the shop. Now I'm going to quickly show you my boots. Hang on there a sec, folks, weren't there? Come here, Roy. Yeah, these are my boots, which I got from here. I forget how long I've had them now, but uh, they've been brilliant. Um, very comfy to wear. In fact, I'm going to Spain tomorrow, and I'm going to take them and wear, this is what I'm going to wear, because uh, they're so, so comfy. They're, they're waterproof. Um, they were 40 pounds. They were on offer. You had free gloves with them. There is a video on my channel on these boots. I've forgotten the make of them now. Might say on the side. We'll have a look. You might see the make. It begins with a K. But uh, if you scroll through my channel, and if you can't find the video, just message me and I'll send you the link. Anyway, there's my boots. These boots were made for walking. I'm not going to sing because I don't want it to rain. Anyway, let's uh, swing you back round. And the wind's dropped a bit. I wanted to put my drone up, but uh, no, no, it ends. It's come back. This is a Van Gogh, which is my son Paul's favourite tents. Uh, again, I just can't believe what I'm seeing. The price is 899 uh, now, that is an absolute bargain. Uh, what a lovely tent. I'll swing you around. There is a few families here looking around the tent, so if I come off a bit, it's because uh, so I don't want to really film anybody else. I've come here to look at the tents. I won't unzip this, but it's got a bedroom there. That's great. Really, loads of room in here. It's an air. I just can't. I say I'm flabbergasted with the prices. Anyway, catch you in a bit. That this free with certain tents here. It's a utility tent. You know, you can have a shower, put a portable toilet in here, and all your stuff. Um, a lot of people. Oh, I don't want to go camping. The toilets. This. You can take your own toilet, and you can keep it clean, and stuff. You can be home from home. Uh, now, I like these little tents here. We're going to go down. Hang on. We're going down. Uh, yeah, these are nice. And in fact, I like the colour because sometimes I see small tents at campsites and uh, of course they're camouflaged and uh, I think they're a bit dangerous. These are brilliant. That's the make there uh let's see if i can see the price uh this is 199 that's a two person it's a back packing tent so it will be lightweight um and there's a three one there so uh, yeah they're great i don't know if i can get into one uh have a quick look hold on there folks i'm just going to poke the camera in side there we go so save my knees looking round yeah that's great i'll zip it back up yeah it's got velcro and a zip that's pretty good so uh yeah we'll carry on round we've got the the camper tents here uh which camper is a well-known you know you're getting quality with camper uh Right, let's uh, swing back up. Now, I was talking to one of the staff on the way in. He said this is only a third of what they sell. So if there's something you haven't seen, ask them. This is another. I'm just fabulous. I with the price. This is uh, 899 uh, It's lovely. I like this. you got got... Um, Nice curtain there that zips up, and uh, it's an air tent. 
Lovely. Anyway, let's uh, carry on round. Less talking and more tenting. Yeah, so we've got another Coleman here. This is, oh, me, what's going on with these prices? Uh, this is an XL6, 740 quid. Uh, and it, let's say it's the blackout uh, bedrooms there. Uh, mind you, I snore, so I'll probably have to have a separate tent or I don't know if I sell the earplugs as well. But uh, yeah, so after I've uh, shown you around the tents, um, I will go upstairs. So I've got a bit of camping accessories up there. I've got a shop full of all the gear. Um, you can think of uh, walking, hiking, etc. But upstairs is more camping tables and stuff. So I'll show you that. Swing you around. This is a Joro uh, air tent. It's got some, it's won something in the awards. 799, another bargain. Uh, cheap as chips. Uh, so, uh, yeah, another blackout bedrooms, which is good. Um, let's have a look. These all zip down here. That's got a fly screen, I like that, so you've got air coming in. Because the tents can get a bit warm, so you've got some ventilation through. Um, yeah, very nice. And the one thing with the, the air tents, they're pretty quick to, uh, to put up. So my son Paul, he's got a big one, and he used to go away a lot with his kids, and um, he put up on his own, they were only little. Uh, so you know, they're quite easy to pull up. You know, have a couple of practices at home, or just go somewhere, you know, nearby. I, I always recommend people if they're going camping first time, find somewhere local to go. So if you find you forgot the kettle or the light or something, you can go and get your tack, and then it does take a bit to get all your gear sorted. But just take stuff that you need. Don't overdo it like I do. Right, this is another nice tent here. Again, what a, what a good deal. This is a six uh, deluxe air tent. It's made by Camper. I say that it is a good make, 850. It's brilliant, you know, because the room you get and uh, you know, the family, you, it, you know, you just can't beat like camping. I mean, I go in motor home. People spend eighty thousand pounds, you know, for a motor home. Good thing if you've got a tent. When you go somewhere, you've got your car, you know, to go out. I mean, I've got the motor home. I've got my electric bike. But uh, there's a lot of pluses, you know, and the money you save if you're towing the caravan down. And then, of course, with a caravan, some people use them a couple of times a year. You've got to pay sort of five and five hundred pound a year storage near the price of what you pay for this tent. Uh, so I'm sure you'll enjoy, enjoy your times. This is, again, this has got a nice little front on it. I do like this, like an awning on the front. Again, you can do a bit of cooking out here, chairs, uh, um, you know, get your boots off and stuff before you go in. Uh, brilliant, uh, what a lovely tent. Let's go. Fantastic. Uh, yeah, I mean, so I've been in Great Yarmouth all week and um, this has really made my day. I have to be on that coach for three and a half hours. Uh, this is nice. Now, obviously, this, this is a bit, I don't know why the prices go up so much, but this is two and a half grand for this one. I mean, if you're first time camping, I wouldn't recommend personally you spend this much. Buy the lower price one. If you like it, you'll probably find some memory of family or buy it off you, uh, or you can easily sell it and then upgrade. I wouldn't pay this until you find out you really like it. But uh, this is a really nice tent. 
I think it's slightly different material it's made out of, that's probably why it's uh, so much. But again, this has got a lovely big outdoor like awning space. I can see zips here, so there must be something that zips on the front there. But this is lovely, absolutely lovely. Uh, I won't have to sell the motor home yet. Uh, my only problem is it's just me, so it'd be one of them little orange ones there, but uh, anyway, another one. Let's go and have a nose. This is the Keswick 2 Air 600 DLX. Um, this is more like it. 949, another bargain. Again, it's won some awards. Uh, it's... Uh, I mean, the material's a bit thinner than the other ones, but then again, it's all down to weight in your car and stuff. So this is probably all you need. If you've got the money, you know, spend it on the two and a half grand one, but this is lovely. Again, nice size area just here. And uh, feels really nice in here. Oh, didn't spot that there. Another little room there. I'm not sure. It looks too small for. Uh, well, you probably have the toilet in there, or you put some of your food and clothes or stuff into that. Or if you've got kids, they could sleep in there. Uh, yeah, it's lovely. Just looking at the layout. So I've got it for six people sleeping along there. Anyway. Catch you in a bit. Right, so got another Van Gogh here. This is nice. Uh, it's nice, and uh, I'm just going to go up a little bit and try and show you the top if I can from here. It's come down. Can't see what I'm exactly filming, but uh, hopefully, you get something. Uh, as I say, they've got, I can't go in every tent, but they've got a great selection here. Now this is, uh, see we've got, this is a Flow 500, it looks like you've got one, two, oh, six people, is it? One, two, three, four, five, uh, yeah, uh, yeah, F oh, blimey, 500 quid, I'll just, just say, it's just astounded by the prices, uh, yeah, again an air one, uh, easy to put up. You've got a smaller little uh, area at the front, but uh, yeah, very nice. Let's go over here now. Seven hundred and fifty. Again, this is a showing like a family tent here. Uh, yeah, lovely. I'm just going to swing you around. Yeah, before you click on Amazon or eBay, a uh, little tip. If you get it from Winfield, if you've got any problems, you can come down and speak to them. I'm pretty certain you won't, but if you need any help and advice, they're here. If you do go online, I mean, they are, they are online, so you can order, but eBay, Amazon, the problem is that, uh, especially eBay, you have trouble sending stuff back. Amazon's not too bad. But just be a bit wary you buy from. And also, uh, some people are going to drive, uh, they'll be away a long way and buy, buy a tent, and you've got the trouble to take it back. This is all local, people in Worcestershire, Warwickshire. Uh, you know, so you won't be disappointed. So, uh, anyway, I'm going to go and check this one out now. Catch you in a second. Oh, this is another nice one. Uh, again, it's very windy this afternoon. This is a Pro TLV25 berth air tent. It's 1800 quid. I mean, I don't know nothing, I haven't seen this mate, but oh, yeah, it's a bit thicker the material, that's why. Uh, this is something that, uh, well, I'd probably buy actually. Um, I mean, normally. Uh, 
you, you know, you pay for what you get, but this does look a really nice tent. I do like, do like all this here. You've got a zip round there, vents, got window just here, window up there. Uh, yeah, it's nice. Um, I mean, if you if you're already uh, into camping and you want something that's going to last you years and years, this will. Again, if you're just starting out, I'd buy one a bit lower price just to make sure you like it. Uh, but you'll always get your money back, you know, uh, on the other ones. I'm not sure about these, but they, they I mean, this is uh, retail of just over two grand. They've got a 380 pound saving on this, so it's a good deal. So anyway, see you in a minute. It's a lovely afternoon, but it's just a bit too windy put the drone up so I was going to do just a little shot over all the tents um, but uh, yeah this is another nice one let's have a look let's reveal 600 quid a Van Gogh uh, it's amazing another nice tent and it's got a really nice feel when you're coming I like the colour and uh, again blackout bedrooms uh, a lovely family tent, not a lot of money. Again, swing you out a little bit. Yeah, greetings, folks. Uh, I'd offer you a burger if you was here now. <laughs> um, get the barbecue on. Uh, yeah, it's lovely. Like I said, this is a lovely tent, nice family tent, and it's not a lot of money. And I'm sure, you know, when people are looking for tents, Van Gogh, like and camp, some of these make, especially Van Gogh, they're, they're always like it's a bit like saying, um, you might have a Austin Metro against well, probably a lot of people don't know what a Metro is, but uh, different cars like a Mercedes against a Ford, but Fords are okay, but you know, sometimes, uh, you know, people tend to see the quality this is nice i mean it is quite windy uh and i say these are all stayed up they've had the storm nelson i mean where i was in uh great yarm if it was winds of about 50 mile an hour probably the same here so uh i say always peg your tents down well buy some extra long pegs uh and you won't go wrong anyway see you in a bit i've nearly finished now this is the sort of back end of some of these tents that I've been looking at. Um, so, uh, yeah, that's a nice one there. Yeah, it's a big one there. So we've got w real windy conditions, but it isn't bothering the tents. Another Coleman here. No, <laughs> joking, 499. Oh me, that's that's brilliant. Um, well, anybody that watches me videos, I always say you can't put a price on leisure and the amount of fun and happy times you can have in something like this, you know, it's amazing and for the money. So uh, yeah, what a lovely tent. So it's nice uh, got windows here windows over this side i think this opens up yeah you've got a door just there as well uh, yeah so uh it's brilliant even with the wind blowing uh if you go to shell island just uh, get some tips where to park there because that's a really windy place. Uh, but a lot of people go to Shell Island camping and have some great times. Check that place out, it's lovely, it's in Wales. Anyway, there's a few more videos on Shell Island as well. So check those out. See you in a bit, folks. All right, got a little one down here. It is zipped up, so I'll see if I can go in and have a quick nose. This will be my last one. Catch you in a sec. This is a, it's called a Bream 
three, especially if you're down Breen Downs camping. Uh, it's a three, it looks like it's a three person or two or three person. Uh, oh, it's three actually. Yeah, it's quite nice air. Uh, you know, there's no point in getting a big one if it's just yourself or you know, a couple of people. Something like this is ample, less room in your car. It's got, uh, you've got a window there, windows at the front, and you've got fly blind on your door, which is great. So a lovely little tent. Yeah, well, that's it. Uh, that's me walk around on the tent. So I'm just gonna have a look at one more. Hang on, hang on there, set folks. It's the camper water gate. Eight. Well, it says on the tin down there. Let's go in and have a look. Uh, oh, I do like this. All right, this one. I'm zipping up a little bit. You've got uh, fly blind on the door. I like the fact that it's um, it's in the middle. You've got bedroom here. They're blackout. Uh, You've got another door there as well. Uh, two bedrooms here. Now this one is 400 pounds, but it's not an air one. So uh, it's poles. Um, with the poles, uh, once you've... Uh, swing you out to me. Once you've put the tent up a couple of times, it's a piece of cake. There's been a few divorces <laughs> with people putting awnings up on caravans years ago. Uh, but with the poles, uh, there's pluses. They're a lot lighter and cheaper, but they do take a little bit more knowledge to put up. I noticed this one's got a nice little, uh, at this at the front here, it's got a little canopy. You can just see it through there so this is nice i'll give you a view outside but say 400 quid uh what a bargain yeah so you've got like a little bit of a frontage there with your little poles in i mean they they are if you speak to a sort of a, a proper camper who's been camping for years they love the pole tents and they probably won't go on to the air ones but you've got uh, one two three no, one two three four five five poles that you have to put in um, there's probably a video on how to do it but uh, the, once you've got hang of it you could probably put it up quicker than you could pump one up but uh, it's a lovely size tent and for the money you know, uh, it's all the fun sometimes of camping, uh, putting the tent up, especially in the rain. That's a beauty. That's the back end of that Coleman there. So, I'm gonna swing you around now. Uh, that was great. And again, thanks for Winfields for letting me come round and uh, film all the tents. So if you've got, say, drive away awnings, tents and I say this isn't all their stock uh, they've got a lot more so uh, come on down have a look I say you've got a large car park there is a toilet I think you've got to ask them for the key uh, I'm just going to nip you upstairs uh, it looks like I can't say I've seen the eight well ones here but they've got a poster up there so they must do them as well anyway we'll see you in the shop quick walk through the shop here uh, it's a nice little cooker yeah they've got a lot of the camping stuff down here now uh, i'm going to go upstairs yeah these are handy to have uh, so it just depends how much you want to spend so you can get pretty well everything you need your camping needs greetings I'm going upstairs now. Nice and quiet up here. 
that's nice, that windbreaker there. Uh, 40 quid. Uh, yeah, you've got camping uh, beds here, a double one there. Uh, camping chairs, loads of chairs, not bad, 30 quid. Uh, outdoor revolutions, so that's a good make. A love seat there, these are nice. When I go on the camping rallies, they're all sat with these type of chairs. I've just got like a cheap fold up one. Uh, but I'm a bit tight. So, uh, yeah, some nice tables. I'll just show you them. There's one up here. Uh, that's 70 quid. That one, I'll just give you a view of that. Oh, so there's little kids go. That's the sort of table I've got. I've just got one of these little folded. Try again. Yeah, you've got some kids' little chairs there. So if you don't want to buy one of them for your kids, don't bring them up with you, so they'll be wanting one of those. Yeah, you've got some air sofas as well. 40 quid. Uh, that one. Yeah, so yeah, that's my sort of chair, which I have. 20 quid, not bad. Uh, yeah, got the tables here. Uh, yeah, nice with a wood finish on the top. So, a bit of a, you've got fold out uh, bowls and stuff there, mops. So, yeah, so it's worth a, a nose. So that's upstairs. So we're gonna see you back downstairs. Just show you these, these are collapsible. You can put in your tents, put all your different stuff in them. There's different sizes, you've even got one. Put your cooker on there uh, for your washing up there that's quite handy it's only a tenner very light so useful it's a collapsible one there so uh, yeah these are in a bucket that get okay, right yeah pop up uh, straight that right yeah pop up bucket and a uh, little uh, colander there. Anyway, we'll see you downstairs. Yeah, they've got the uh, Nature Calls portable toilets there. I keep telling me some Paul to get one because he won't come camping with me because he ain't got a toilet. Uh, these are some little portable ones here. 20 quid, enough to get you going. You got all your chemicals down here as well so catch you in a bit it's my uh, my boots there um, actually I'll show you the bottom so they're waterproof and uh, good uh, unfortunately everything's made in China now uh, but so far I've got no complaints yeah, this is for me brother Brian. He asked me what size at. This is seven and a half. I think it must be inches, uh, this tilly at. Uh, he was asking me what size my head is. Anyway, fits nice. Lovely, the tilly at. It's a bit pricey. Well, they're normally 95 pounds, but they're uh, 75 here. So if you fancy a nice app for life, can't beat a tilly. Anyway, catch you in a bit. So I'm finishing off now. Uh, a lot of backpacks here. And you've got the sleeping bags, Van Gogh, uh, that quality. There's one here, there's a single one, 20 pounds, outdoor revolution. There's different uh, temperature levels. So get one that's, uh, I think what they call winter, summer, or there's different uh, uh, grades. That's, uh, let's have a look. Yeah, that one's, um, 8 to 20, that's season 2, I think you can get a season to 3, uh, so I recommend you get a good quality one, keep you nice and warm at night, yeah, so if you want some Wellingtons, 
boots, they've got a good selection here. There's the Cotswold ones. Uh, those are nice, or if you want something a bit fancy, more sleeping bags here. Uh, we have a quick look, 50 quid for that one. So, yeah, and you've got some dog stuff here as well. Uh, air beds, good selection of air beds here as well, and, the, and pumps. I'll see you outside anyway. Hello world, well, that's it, end of the show. I enjoyed that, uh, I've actually used my DJI pocket for, I've had a lot of trouble with it, but it's, it hasn't been too bad, it's played up a couple of times, but uh, it was ideal for me today. So yeah, so that's it, please subscribe to the channel, it's free to do that. Uh, hope you enjoyed the look round. Come down, you've seen the opening hours, it's well worth a little ride out, free car park, bring a picnic, you can sit over there, some lovely public, fo public footpath walks, uh, some nice pubs in Fecknam as well, you can get meals, uh, so come and check the area out, it's a lovely place. That's it for now, let's hope there's peace all around the world, see you on the next video, bye folks, bye.